What's up guys, Herc here. Today I'm bringing you a bench press video. Now today what I want to discuss in this video is different ways of improving your bench technique and getting your numbers up. So um, this these clips were about a month ago and this was really around the time when my bench started going up. Now when I said my, my bench started going up, uh, I was at a plateau of 225 for a long time. Meaning that um, every time I tried to pause bench 225, you know, like the way you would in competition, I could never hit it. It would always get stuck somewhere towards like the bottom slash middle of the lift and I could never pick it up. So for the longest time, I was like, you know what, maybe if I'm just consistent with my training and trying these uh, these next couple techniques that I'm going to show you guys, then maybe it'll improve my bench. So uh, what you guys saw in that first clip was basically me using... Um, weights on the side so i'll be benching normally with the barbell have plates on the side um and i'll use a latex or kind of like rubber theraband and i'll tie it around the edge of the barbell with along with like two uh not so heavy maybe around i usually use 10 to 15 sometimes 20 pound plates if i'm feeling really good i'll use a 25 pound plate and what that does as you see in this clip right now too what that does it actually adds a little bit of instability to your bench so once you unrack it you feel your your uh, chest muscles and your anterior delt muscles kind of fighting and struggling to balance the weight without those weights on the side on the theraband it would just feel you you could easily stabilize the weight so what this does it provides instability so you can stabilize the weight and now this comes in this totally comes in handy because uh, later on when your muscles start to develop and you feel the need to start benching uh, with higher numbers, um, you're, if, you, if you unrack the weight at a, like a, a near maximal effort push, like a, like a PR, if you're going for a PR, you're going to feel yourself kind of trembling because um, you know, your body's not really used to that sort of weight, not handling that sort of weight. So reducing the weight and adding these weight plates on the side can greatly improve your stability so that's one method the second one is one you see right here this is overload training with the slingshot so basically what i'm doing here is uh i'm i'm using my uh my whatchamacallit my one rep max weight which is 225 uh, currently at this time and i'm trying to see how many reps i can push out with it um and for those of you who have never used a slingshot or have seen it used <laughs> as you see me fail on this rep uh basically what it does it helps you out of the it helps you lock out the weight um well not necessarily it doesn't help you with the lockout it helps you work on your lockout what the band actually does is it helps you get out of the hole so when the bar is at the bottom like touching your chest it helps you it provides enough tension to help you kind of get it off of your chest now when you're around halfway towards the lift halfway done uh with the lift the tension starts to decrease and then it forces you to work on your lockout so my lockout has become way 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 stronger it's ridiculous how much stronger it has gotten um and another way that uh, i've improved my lockout and my bench overall is uh going with a wide grip so as you guys see me here now look how wide my hand placement is uh, i used to never go that far my my pinky i think is on the the uh the edge of the knurling like where the bar is smooth um and it feels amazing lockout is so much smoother uh i feel so much more stable and this is 230 actually this is a pr of 230 which is unheard of which you guys are going to see a slow-mo replay right now uh the weight traveled very well i'm very happy with it and these have been my techniques for the past couple of uh, months or so, and they've really paid off. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give these techniques a share, uh, a try, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now.